as soon as you put a human in space, he will be in an harsh environment. He will be vacuum, he will have no water, he will have no food. So you need to be able to provide all this metabolic need to the astronaut. This is what we call the life support technologies. So far, on board space station, the water, the food and the oxygen is mainly transported from Earth. But if you quit the Earth's orbit, if you go to the moon or if you go further on, this will become extremely expensive. So you need to produce this during the mission. So all the waste of the mission will be progressively transformed in order to produce the oxygen, the water and food. In Europe, the project is called MELISA and the objective is really to recreate an artificial ecosystem who is mimicking a terrestrial lake from waste transformation up to oxygen, water and food. Isoplan simply said is a project to engage a new generation of space farmers. That's a simple explanation, but it's also a scientific project because through the project we gather data about how plants grow, which helps the European Space Agency to develop a system that supports life in space. We work on the higher plant compartment, so actually the food compartment where you grow food for the astronauts. This is where the question or the challenge comes in, where you really need to understand how plants grow under different circumstances, because you want to steer and to determine how they grow. The hardware we develop is completely open source. It's like a small plant lab where you grow one or two or three or four plants with all kinds of sensors like EC, pH, the water temperature, the air temperature, the humidity, the airflow, all these kinds of aspects are really relevant if you want to understand the plants. It's not a controlled growth chamber. That's not what we need in this project. We really need to grow these plants in different environments to really understand how these plants react to these different environments. You monitor and gather the data of the entire growth. And we involve the users of the kit or the owners of the kit to participate in this scientific process. What they are developing is plant models, like mathematical models, that they can use to simulate this environment before they can actually build the technology that goes into space. It's a really open effort by mostly volunteers who work on this in their spare time. The objective is to gather data and to generate data with all the sensors and the equipment we develop so that a true understanding of how plants grow in their different circumstances and different environments actually happen.